Hey guys, this is Post Production Pi, and in the last video we discussed that Lightroom is a non-destructive editing tool. Now, because of that feature, Lightroom has the ability to sync and batch edit your photos, which is really where you get the majority of the power and raw efficiency from. Um, and I'm going to show you guys just exactly what that is. That's what this video is for. It's really just to show you guys the syncing and batch editing process and how powerful it can be. So I'm going to open up Lightroom and I'm in my library module right now. I'm going to switch to the develop module so we can apply a few settings to these photos. What you see here, I'm going to switch back just to show you real quick. What you see here is just that in same engagement session. Um, these are all raw images that have been untouched. So I'm going to go to the develop module and just apply a few settings. Now, don't really worry about what we're doing. I don't want you guys to have to pause this and rewind and, and try and figure this out here because we're going to discuss this in great detail later on throughout the tutorial series. So just real quick, I'm going to increase my blacks. Um, just apply a few different settings here to get this image to the point where it's not finished, but I want you guys to be able to see that there is a difference between this and the original file. So you can see what happens when you batch edit. Um, I'm going to apply a little bit of a vignette and that's it. Okay, so this is good enough and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to my next photo and notice that, hey, the next photo is actually uh, shot with the exact same settings, um, the exposure is identical. So what we're going to do is just hit the previous button. And by hitting the previous button, it automatically copies the settings from the last image over to this one. Um, now obviously we wouldn't be keeping this file, but I just wanted you to see what we would do. I'm going to go to the next one. I'm going to hit previous again. So this is what's known as syncing. Okay. Now we can do something and go a step further by batch syncing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to reset these three that I just did. And we're going to batch edit these by going back to my grid view so I can see all of the pictures that were taken in this scene that are that same exposure and that same type of lighting and everything. It looks like we have up to this, this point. Okay, so I'm going to select my first image which has been done and we have our editing settings. And I'm going to select my last image in that sequence. I'm going to hit sync settings and synchronize. And now it goes through and syncs every single one of those images so it's the exact same as the original. So check this out. We zoom in, we can see that every one of those images is now has the same post-processing settings applied to it. So from this point, all I would do is I'd go through and I'd delete out the bad expression. So I don't like that expression. Um, I think this is probably just a duplicate. I'm going to pick the better of the two. And so that's how we batch process, is we apply these settings over entire grouping, um, edit out whatever we don't want, and then go to the next grouping, which would be this set, and do the same thing in this set. Alright, so hopefully that gives you guys a little bit of an insight into the power of batch processing.